updating you on that story as and when we get more. We head on over to Switzerland now where the World Economic Forum is taking place in Davos. That's under the theme of Globalization 4.0. South Africa has sent a large delegation that is trying to sell a message of renewal in state-owned enterprises to potential investors. Our anchor Nzinga Kunta is there. We cross live to her now. Good afternoon to you Nzinga. A very good afternoon to Arabile. As you said, we are in Switzerland and we're going to be speaking to the South African delegation throughout the course of the day. Now I'm joined by Reserve Bank Governor Lesa Chakhanyaho. Thanks so much for your time on SABC News, Governor. Talk to us about what the Reserve Bank and the kind of engagements they're going to be having in Davos over the next few days. We're basically carrying the South African message and the South African message which is that South Africa is in the process of uh, a renewal. There's a lot of damage that was done to our uh, economy in the recent past and and we are in the process of renewal and we believe that that process of renewal will lay the basis for an acceleration of growth. Growth this year is expected, uh, the growth rate is expected to double from what it was uh, 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 last year. Uh, still, we do not think that this is enough for, uh, for us to make progress in terms of reducing unemployment and uh, that this process will need to be accompanied by a process of uh, structural reform and some of these structural reforms were announced by the president as part of his and that is the message without uh, being received much better than we were received last year just as last year was better than uh, the other year so you could say that sentiment uh, towards South Africa has been improving over the past three years also a focus at Davos and some of the sessions is the African continent emerging markets and their growth outlook. Speak to us about that with the South African context as well. Well, what is not, what is not in doubt is that the global economy uh, this year will be slower than what it was uh, last year. Both the IMF, the World Bank and the OECD have revised uh, global growth uh, uh, lower and that poses a challenge uh, for uh, for emerging markets. The second point is that emerging markets uh, need to be attracting uh, capital flows and they have been attracting capital flows as a result of very loose and accommodative monetary policies in the uh, in the developed world and with uh, the developed world moving towards normalization global financing conditions are tightening and emerging markets are finding that it is difficult to uh, access financing or if they can still access financing it is at a higher cost than it was um, uh, in the past i think that the thing here for uh, africa is that the world this year is expected to grow by uh, 3.5 percent which is lower than uh, last year but growth none less and africa is expected to grow at 3.7 percent sub-saharan africa is expected to grow at 3.7 percent which means that we are growing faster than uh, uh, the global growth uh, uh, average governor there's been a lot of conversation around the mandate of the reserve bank and and perhaps how it needs to change give us your comment on that um this said that is in the and what we have been the central banking community look is that there are threats to central bank uh, central bank, uh, independence and what could because that the president killed that here before he left south africa because he spelled out that the mandate and the independence of the reserve bank are sacrosanct and as a result uh, many of the investors that you, you talk to here uh, are basically saying that well you have the president behind you which is uh, correct and when, uh, when you talk to uh, counterparts or central bank governors from the other countries uh, what is becoming clear uh, to them is that they look at this and says who i wish my president could say that uh, uh, about me aren't you like and i think that for me that says uh, we are fortunate to have the leadership of president ramaphosa who had stood up and said uh, together with the minister of finance uh, the reserve bank's mandate is enshrined in the constitution its independence is enshrined in the constitution and it remains sacrosanct Thanks so much for your time on SABC News this afternoon. Reserve Bank Governor Lesetja Khanyaho giving us an insight into what's going to be taking place um, from the Reserve Bank side as they go uh, into these meetings um, in Davos throughout the next We are seeming to lose that connection there, and we apologize that it has been intermittent uh, throughout that, uh, that interview as well. There, my colleague in Zingar Kunta out in the cold there, uh, in, the, in Davos in Switzerland.